We live in a kind of soundbite culture. You know, we're talking about the X Factor, we, we see these people singing away. And, <laughs> and when, when they introduce them, they have a kind of 40-second VT of their cat dying of leukemia, and they are raised by, <laughs> you know, this terrible... So what about the real deal? What about Beethoven, almost beaten to death twice by his alcoholic father before he was even a teenager? What about Schubert, 12th of 14 children of whom only five survived, died of syphilis aged 31, five foot tall, so ugly his nickname was Mushroom Face. <laughs> In the last 12 years of his life, he earned the equivalent in today's money of $1,000 a year. He lived in squats. What about Bach? By the age of four, his closest siblings had died. At nine, his mother dies. At 10, his father dies. He had 20 children, 11 of whom died in infancy or childbirth. His wife, the love of his life, she also died. And yet, 300 years later, we're listening to the most immortal, joyful, extraordinary, eternal music that he has provided us with. Isn't that worth exploring? I'm going to end just by saying one thing. If you have ever listened to classical music and given up, or you hear it occasionally in a movie or on an advert and you like it, or you just never heard it before, Take a chance and just try and have a little listen. If you only buy one CD other than mine, <laughs> buy Glenn Gould playing the Goldberg Variations. Lots of Gs in there, it's easy to remember. And allow yourself to explore that, to be taken on a journey, to see what all the fuss is about.